What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at basic tensor math operations for deep learning with PyTorch. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at basic tensor math operations. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, moving right along. In the last video, we looked at basic tensor operations. In this video, we want to look at math operations for tensor, how to do math to several different tensors at once. Now, we're just going to keep it very simple in this video. We're going to look at basic math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, remainders, modulus, exponents, things like that. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks, some shorthand, some longhand, the difference between the two and why. And we're also going to look at reassignment. So what do you do with the thing after you've done the math to it? A couple of little tricks with that that are very interesting that you kind of need to know, especially if you're digging through the documentation in the future, you're going to see these things and go, well, what is this? And we kind of need to look at it. So we're going to get into more exciting, difficult things later on. In this video, we're going to ease into it. Basic math operations and should be fun. So I've got a Google Colab open. I'm calling it tensor underscore math. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this PyTorch series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've imported Torch and NumPy. We don't really need NumPy, but it's just sort of habit. So I'll leave that in there. Okay, so let's create a couple of quick tensors. So I'm going to call this tensor underscore A, and this is going to be a torch dot tensor. And let's just keep this very simple. I'm going to one, two, three, four, right? So let's create another one, tensor underscore B. And it's going to be a torch dot tensor. And again, keep it very simple. Uh, let's go five, six, seven, and eight. Now, these two match up. The same number of items are in each one. That's kind of important. So there's four things in this one and four things in this one. These are all integers. We could do floats. We could do anything you want. But I'm just going to keep it very basic and very simple. In this example, we're just going to use integers. So all right, now let's come down here and let's do some addition. Now, this is very simple. We could just go tensor underscore A plus tensor underscore B. And when we do this, we get a new tensor, which has four things in it, and it's 6, 8, 10, and 12. Now, what happened here? Well, the first item of this tensor gets added to the first item of this one. So 1 plus 5 equals 6. So then the second item in this one and the second item in this one get added together. 6 plus 2 is 8. 7 plus 3 is 10. 8 plus 4 is 12. So you're just sort of matching up each item with the same numbered item in the other tensor and adding them together. So super easy. Now, this is kind of shorthand. We also sort of have, let's say, addition longhand. And basically, we can call a function here. So we could call torch.add, right? And then pass in what do we want to add? Well, we want to add tensor underscore A and tensor underscore B. So this will do the exact same thing. We get 6, 8, 10, and 12. Same as up here, 6, 8, 10, and 12. It's doing the same thing. It's adding each item with its respective item in the other tensor. And that's all there is to it. Now, which of these methods are you going to want to use? I'm lazy. I do this, right? Because it's just less typing. And I don't know, it just sort of makes more sense. But there are times you might want to use this or you might see this in the documentation and go, what is this torch.add thing? That's all that's happening here now. We're going to go through all the basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, division things. And you could do this for all of these. You can call the actual function or you could do the shorthand. So we'll go over both in this video because these are named a little oddly. It's easy for this one, torch.add, you're going to add. But all the rest of them are a little wonky. So <laughs> I'll talk about them. But now let's just talk about subtract or subtraction. And let's just go tensor underscore B minus tensor underscore A. And you can imagine what's going to happen here. And you can see what, exactly what's going to happen here. We're going to take all the items from our first tensor and subtract them from their respectively matched up item in the second one. So 5 minus 1 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4. That's creepy. All 4. And of course, we have the sub function as well. So I'll just real quickly show you this one. And it's going to be torch dot sub. Now, I think you could also do subtract. Uh, that's an alias for sub. But the actual function is the sub function, right? So here we could just go tensor B and tensor A. Run the same thing, get the same answer. So, uh, so that's addition, subtraction, multiplication. Same deal. We can go tensor underscore A, 
times tensor underscore B. And the same concept, we're going to take the first item and multiply it by the second item. So one times five is five. Uh, six times two is 12. Seven times three, 21. Eight, four, 32. Those match up. And same thing here, we could go mull longhand. And it's just going to be torch dot mull. I think you can also do multiply. Same deal though, torch dot multiply is an alias for torch dot mull. Right, that's the actual function. And same thing, we're going to go tensor A and tensor underscore B. And we get the same answer. So okay, that's interesting. Now we have division a little bit, a little bit different, not really. <laughs> Right. So let's go tensor underscore B divided by tensor underscore A. And here, the difference is it's going to convert this to a float because a lot of times in division, almost always, you're going to have decimal remainders, you know, so uh, seven divided by three is 2.33333, right? So it just automatically converts it into a decimal of a float, basically, right? So again, we can go division longhand. And we're going to go torch dot div and here we can go tensor underscore b and tensor underscore a we're going to get the same exact answer five three two point three 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 and two point zero 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 so okay that's cool now let's talk about remainders this is kind of cool we're going to use the modulus and this is a basic python operation so let's go tensor underscore b modulus which is the number sign tensor underscore a so here we're going to get a list of remainders. So if we come back up here, five divided by one is five with nothing left over. So that's zero. Come up here, six divided by two is three with nothing left over. Three times two is six. There's no remainder, right? So again, we have zero. This one we have one because seven divided by three is two with one left over. You know, six goes into seven one time with a remainder of one. So it returns that remainder. Same thing here with eight. 8 divided by 4 is 2 with 0 remainder. So very cool, very easy, and uh, it's kind of all there is to it. So the remainder longhand is not mod, it is torch dot remainder. And then we can go tensor underscore B and tensor underscore A. Run this guy and we get the same thing here. So finally exponents, let's go uh, exponents or, you know, to the power of. So here, I'm not exactly sure what the shorthand is for this. Uh, so we're just going to use the longhand. So we could go torch dot pow, right? Pow. And then let's go tensor underscore A and tensor underscore B. I misspelled A. <laughs> All, right. All right, there we go. And we get 164.2187. Uh, so this is kind of harder because one to the fifth power, one times one times one times one is five. 2 to the 6th power, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times whatever, that's 64. We can Google this just to make sure. Let's go to and use the caret to the 6th power. Okay, 64, that's right. Uh, what are the other ones? 7 to the, 3 to the 7th power. So let's go 3, oops, 3 to the 7th power, 2187, 2187. We'll just trust that that one's correct, right? So... Those are your basic math operations now. I've been showing you this shorthand, torch dot whatever. So torch dot pow, torch dot div. You can also just call the first thing. So let's go tensor underscore a dot add, and then just pass in tensor underscore b. And let's just say another way to write longhand, right? Whatever. We get the same one, six, eight, 10, 12 that we got up here. 6, 8, 10, 12. And so that's cool. You could do the same thing with all these tensor a.sub, tensor a.mold, tensor a.pow, whatever. But now I, the last thing I want to talk about is reassignment. So let's say we have tensor underscore a plus tensor underscore b, right? We know we're going to get 6, 8, 10, 12. Well, what if we want to reassign that to tensor a? So if we tensor underscore a now, we see our, our tensor is the same as it was before, one, two, three, four. Well, what if we want tensor A to be, what is tensor A plus tensor B? Well, we could do it longhand. We could go tensor A equals tensor A plus tensor underscore B, right? That's one way to do it. Or you can use this weird little underscore. 
And let me come up here and go like that. So now when we do our longhand, we can go, we can go tensor underscore a dot add underscore tensor underscore b. And we get that answer. But now when we call tensor underscore a again, it's going to be that answer because it has been reassigned in when we use this little underscore thing here, right? And you pretty much have to do this when you do it with this method. If you call, for instance, torch dot add underscore and then pass in tensor a and tensor b, you're going to get an error because it doesn't recognize this add underscore here. It only under, understands it when you're doing it with the original variable name. Anyway, just sort of keep that in mind. So, you know, personally, I don't use this underscore thing because I don't know, it just kind of seems weird to me. And I always sort of forget it's there. But you're going to see that in the documentation from time to time, you're going to go, what's that weird underscore at the end of that function? Oh, they're reassigning it back into the, the variable, right? I guess probably the reason why if we went torch dot add underscores because it's reassigning it back into the variable and here we're not designating a new variable, right? So maybe if we went, let's say tensor underscore a underscore and tensor underscore b, is this going to work? No, there's no way this is going to work, right? No, <laughs> right? So basically we just have to use it with this method right here. When we start out with our variable name, then we can do dot add underscore or dot sub underscore dot mole underscore all of the functions uh, with a little underscore just means reassign in PyTorch and uh, kind of cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeb.com. We could use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodingMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.